Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Didn't you find it hard to sleep last night? You saw at the end of yesterday's video that I made this charred punk wood off of this white oak round that was right here and you never got to see if it works well or not. That's what I wanna show you today. I can't have you going two nights without sleep. So we have pine needles and leaves and we have tulip poplar bark we'll be using and then tulip poplar shavings. Same piece of chert that you saw me use on the char cloth the other day. And we'll get our sparks off. The Corona razor tooth saw, $27. They tell me that it's at Tractor Supply, uh, but I know it's on Amazon. White oak punk wood. And I'm gonna cut this where it's the clearest to get some of that bark and get some good shavings. And on bark as hard as this that wants to stay stuck to the wood, I always take off that outer bark first by breaking it over my finger trying to remove these ribbons of inner bark. And I'm throwing this outer bark down, but you'll want to save it because it, it burns very well also. I don't know if you can see the moisture in this bark, but that charred punk wood is going to burn hot enough to overcome what little moisture's in this bark. Tulip poplar in the bark. It is a great tender. It's got a lot of moisture in it, but uh, the charred punkwood can handle it. Let's go ahead and make some shavings now. Shavings, pine needles, leaves, and bark. Let's do the bark first. some highly reactive charred punk wood, isn't it? All right, let's try the leaves next. Didn't have any trouble with that damp bark, did it?
can't see out here because it's so bright. So let me just hit it three times and then we'll check for ignition. Good to practice in the wind like this. Conditions are not always going to be ideal for you. I believe I could blow that into flames right in the snow. Or maybe the wind can blow it into flames right in the stove. All right, let's go for the pine needles now. The pine needles, I'd kind of like to kind of like to uh, put some dust and particles in there on top of the pine needles. Not it like that. Let's see if we can do that. In all this wind. And the last one, a handful of shavings. I need to organize this. Go ahead and put a little bit of bark down in there to start with. That looks good. If I could see better out here in this bright sun, I wouldn't have to strike it 10 times to see if it's ignited. Let's go with striking it five times before we check for an ignition.
I have to see that one go right down in on it. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. So we'll turn these vents towards the wind. We'll catch you on the next one. How are your azaleas doing? And I put some redbud tree in there also.